Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today, and welcome to a Battleground Hero type of video. In this video, uh, I figured I would share with you guys maybe what you would like to play, or give a shot, or something to help you decide what you want to play for maybe me, Battlegrounds. As, if you guys have watched my channel, all I do are Battlegrounds. It's literally what I enjoy in this game, it's just what I enjoy. I live in Battlegrounds, I love it, everybody who has me added. Uh, knows this it's just battlegrounds are my thing so I figured maybe this will help you guys and to get an understanding on maybe what you want to try or even play or if you're new to the game maybe this will help you as well so let's go ahead and get this uh, started uh, there's tons of variables in battlegrounds like I know this is only battlegrounds this is not really about arenas or anything so if you're interested in arenas and stuff I'm this is only for battlegrounds because I'm a battleground hero but there's tons of var variables. Do you want to go solo stuff? Like solo out there? Do you want to help your team carry flag? Do you want to be in team fights? Do you want to heal? Um, there's just tons of variables. So I figured I would try my best to explain. And maybe you guys will get a perspective on what you want to play. So let's go ahead and go over solo type play first. And... Here's how, here's my thoughts on it. Because for me, I do like to go off and do my own thing. I'm more of that kind of player. While I do play every class, this is just what I prefer to go off and do my own thing. Just me personally. I've never been much of a team person. I mean, by team person, I mean like being the team fights. I'd rather much rather go do my own thing. So if you're this kind of person, like I'm saying, Feral Droid or Rogue will most likely be for you. What these things, are, what these classes are, is for all what you're seeing right now is makes you a cat form and you're a stealth type class. And if you're very careful, you can pick up your own target wherever they are. And that's what I like about Feral Droid. Rogue is kind of, ex kind of way better in that department over Feral, just because Rogue has more control. They definitely have better damage. And they can run away better than a Feral Droid can. Well, Feral does have insane mobility compared to the Rogue. Rogue has Vanish, which gives you, lets you run away. It's just that simple. So, if I had to pick between the two, and you're more of a solo type of person that's just kind of wanting to do that, I would probably pick Rogue. Of just, just saying that, because like I said. Rogue is 100 times more actually overpowered in my opinion. They just always are. And that you can really make somebody mad like me, for example, who complains about them a lot. Uh, so I would pick Rogue for that reason. But uh, if you want to be a cool Feral Kitty, because they added these cool um, droid farms in Legion before they get removed. Unless you're watching this in the future, I apologize and you didn't get it. Uh, there's that. So I like the Purple Kitty. Another good thing about Feral is that they do have self-healing. Rogues kind of do as well, but it's not as, like, good, I guess, maybe, as uh, Feral, I should say. And, uh, it's really about it. I just, like, I think if you're a solo type of person, go with either Rogue or Feral. That's my uh, two opinions on that. And, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next set, guys. Alright guys, let's go over melee next. Melee is, well, while Rogue and Feral Droid are melee, they aren't really, like, in the group type of thing. So this will be more of the melee that are, like, into team fighting, want to get up into people's faces, just rush into groups and away the crap out of stuff. So let's go ahead and go over it. What you're seeing now is Frost DK. And this, personally, to me, of all the melee, is always been probably one of my favorites and um as you can see i'm doing something stupid right now but I, <laughs> yeah was, either way it's continuing on uh frost dk or actually i should say dk in general uh dk if you're into a class that has kind of like a wait how would i describe dk Blood DK is really strong, so if you're into a tank class that has insane self-healing that can keep yourself alive, it has, and is pretty much an anti-cat uh, 
caster. If you're struggling against casters, DK will be for you for sure, 100%. Um, Frost DK is really good in that department. If you're into a class that, um, because this is one of my favorite things about Frost DK, for example, if you're into a, a class that wants to AoE several, several people at once, like, I've CC'd probably maybe 10, 10 people in Deepwind Gorge, for example, in the middle of the flag, if you uh, just death grip them all into a remorseless winter. Uh, that's what I like about uh, Frosty Can. If you're into wanting to insane CC for your to help your teammates out, Frosty K is pretty good in that department. Plus, its damage is insane. It's simple to pick up, so you can try that. If you want to play a pet class where you rely more on your pet, the Unholy spec is uh, for you. Uh, Unholy has better control, I should say, than Frost. So. And it's a lot more tankier than Frost as well. So that's it for, I guess, DK. Uh, now Warrior. Warrior? Warrior is pretty dang good. It, it always is. The only problem is, I feel like it always requires like a healer with you. Because that, that's why a lot of Warriors always run with healers. Because the damage is insane. But the survivability, I feel like, other than maybe prot, of course, because you're prot, you gotta survive. Um, I just don't think the survivability is, like, as great. It's definitely not bad, at least Furies isn't. But ARMS doesn't have, like, the self-healing compared to prot a little bit. And, uh, definitely Fury. Fury has really good healing. So, if you're into, um, insane damage and you have, like, maybe a friend that you always run with as a healer. Warrior might be pretty good for you. Uh, they're definitely better at pressuring healers than a Frost DK or an Holy DK, I think, in my opinion. Uh, that's just my opinion, of course. People can say in the comments if that they want to disagree. That's okay. Uh, let's see. There is Enhancement Shaman. I don't really have much experience in Enhancement Shamans, and I haven't really seen enough of them. But from what I heard and what I've played... They are a really pretty heavy RNG class, or spec I should say. So, if you're into, I guess, a really high damage class, because you never know what could happen with Enhancement Shaman, uh, it's really fun to play. I have messed with it before, just not a whole lot. It's definitely a fun class, and it's different. Totems are really cool, maybe you might want to mess around with Totems. And if you're looking for a class with Heroism, or bloodlust and you want to put it on yourself it actually enhancement does have a talent that reduces bloodlust or heroism to like 30 or 45 seconds which is pretty dang insane they have incredible haste so enhancement shaman is really good in that department monk i cannot say enough about monk i know monk is one of the, probably the least played class in the game at least last i heard monk is like the least played class in the game if you're into a class that is probably good for solo, in my opinion, I, I have a pretty good experience with uh, Monk solo playing. Uh, it's probably not as good as Rogue or Feral, obviously, but Monk is really good for soloing. It has insane mobility, it has heals, it has a teleport, so you can juke the crap out of people. If you want proof, you can check my War Song Glitch video. Yeah, and you can see how long I juke people for. And uh, they have pretty decent defenses. They have insane CC. It's just absolutely crazy how Monk is. I cannot say in in enough about Monk. They're just a really, really, really insane glass. So, I highly recommend, if you have not uh, tried Monk, to give Monk a shot for sure, 100%. Now, let's see, yeah, what else is there? Uh, Havoc Demon Hunter. Havoc Demon Hunter, I played... Probably the entire beta, like it was <laughs> that much fun to me. Um, I played it a little bit in Legion. I didn't play it as much throughout Legion because I was playing Druid mainly at the time. But uh, Havoc Demon Hunter is definitely a fun class. It's simple to play, just like Frost DK is. And um, if you're into a, a class that can self heal, AOE several several people at once and burst people down in seconds, anyone you want. You can also see rogues, which is a number one for me. Like, if you hate rogues with a burning passion as much as I do, and want them to burn with Thousand Fire of the Suns, play Havoc Demon Hunter, or just 
Demon Hunter in general, to be honest. Uh, Vengeance Demon Hunter is currently the best flag carry in the game. Everybody wants one. They're the fastest mobility class, so if you want to do that, uh, you can do that if you want to help your team out with running flags, if you're a flag runner person. Um, I think that is it for the melee, I think. Oh, there's Survival Hunter. Um, I can't really say much about Survival Hunter. I have not done it much, and I don't really want to make anybody mad, but they're one of the most complex, in my opinion, specs in the game. It's why I don't think really anybody plays it. They're a lot harder to play, in my opinion, uh, from the few times I've played it. They do a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but it, they do take just a lot of time to learn versus something like Demon Hunter and Frosty K. Um, they do have pretty good CC though, I rem remember that. Alright, I don't remember what else I was missing because I'm looking at now. Rep Paladin. Rep Paladin is a really, really, really good Battleground hero type class. Like, I've seen everybody recommend it. If you really want to be a Battleground hero, Rep Paladin will probably definitely be for you. It's a support, um, you get like, you get one bubble, yeah, actually you get two bubble. And you gotta lay on hands to save yourself. The heals they do are just insane. The damage they do is insane. They just got their stun. It comes up like literally probably like every 20 to 50, 30 seconds if you keep casting spells. It's pretty dang crazy the CC they do. I can guarantee you right now you'll make a lot of people mad uh, with the way Rhett works as well. So I believe that covers uh, melee guys. Um, that's it. Alright guys, up next we're going to be going over is tanks. Tanks, or in Battlegrounds, is basically for defending nods mostly and running flags. Um, I am kind of one of those tanks that do like to do a little bit of damage in Battlegrounds, I do admit that. So, if you're kind of looking for that type of thing, it's not really gonna, it's not really useful. Tanks are more for, like I said, disruption, guarding nods, and flag running. And I love, love doing those things on my Guardian Druid. And if you're one of those people that like to do, like I said, disruption, help team running flags, or, you know, just guarding stuff for the heck of it, then this will be for you. So, first up, of course, I'm going to be covering is Guardian Druid. Guardian Druid, if you're into, like, being in the front lines, of course, like I said in the previous ones, Guardian Droid will definitely be one of my, probably like my, my top favorite tank. And the reason why this is is because I like to run Incarnation and uh, the, all the AoE talents. And if you run all those and run into a huge, huge, giant group of horde, like, I don't know, 7 plus, and you just spam through rush over and over, like 75% of the time, depending on, I guess depends on what you face, everything will drop. If they all bunch up and you AoE spam Thrush, everything will drop. It's just crazy. They do more damage in a huge group, in my opinion, more than any other tank if you do it right. And that's just a course in my opinion. And uh, that's the reason why I like Guardian Droid. They also, I think, have the... Probably the... No, no, no. They're the second fastest mobility class in the game. Because I said Vengeance is earlier. Um, this goes back to the whole DPS thing. Vengeance, if you're into flag running... They're the fastest mobility class in the game. They're always wanted in RBGs. You can, you'll never get declined as a vintage team hunter. Like it's just, they're that popular and they're that wanted. So if you're into that kind of kind of thing, play Vengeance Demon Hunter for sure. Uh, Blood DK. This goes back to the DPS thing I said as well. If you're into insane and wanting insane self healing, so you don't really need any healers, and they have they're an anti caster class. They they're really good against casters. Blood DK will be for you for sure. Versus like Guardian Druid where they used to be good and okay against casters. Now it's just they're not. Uh, so that will be for you. Or that will be for you. Brewmasters, I, I don't I don't know how to play Brewmaster. But, and I haven't really seen any Brewmasters. I can't really speak for them. I don't think they're really all that strong. Maybe because that's probably why I don't really see many people play them. Um, they do have incredible mobility. Their damage is okay. Uh, it's really about it for Brewmasters, I can really say. I'm honestly sorry. I just don't know much about Brewmasters. 
uh, prop out in. Their damage is extremely bad, just in my opinion. Their damage is pretty terrible in Bower Guns. But the healing and self-healing and support they can give is pretty insane. So if you are to support your teammates, uh, Prop Alley will definitely be for you. Because they can do incredible self-healing and healing for others. Just their damage lacks. I believe that's it for the tanks. Um, if I missed anything, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure that's it for all the tanks. So let's move on, guys. Alright, guys. Up next, we're discussing is casters. Casters are specs uh, ca uh, classes that you shoot from a range obviously that's what a gaster is and what you're seeing now is elemental shaman so I'll be talking about elemental shaman first elemental shaman is a caster of course that is one of the it's, it's from the shaman class that has a melee restoration and then of course elemental for casters so shaman is a class that can do all three but we're talking about casters, of course. So elemental is basically a caster that can heal others or yourself. It has a knockback where you can knock people off the map, which is always my favorite. No, if you don't like knockbacks, I don't know what is wrong with you because if in ma maps like I have the storm, for example, knocking people to the edge of the abyss is just absolutely incredibly fun. Uh, elemental does insane AOE damage. Their single target is actually not that bad, but I feel like their damage is mostly from the AoE. That's just my uh, my opinion. They have instant cast, kind of like, you know, uh, instant cast like from the procs, which is nice. I feel like their damage is okay. Um, I feel like it could be a little bit better. They're definitely not the worst. They do really insane damage, like I said, in multiple groups. I feel like their artifact ability and with chain lightning is where all the damage mostly comes from. At least that's what I've noticed and which has been happened to me a few times. So they do have a few CC, they have their totem, they have a slow, uh, they, their defensive is astral shift, they have hex to um, basically do like a mini sheep, like from mage. Um, they have a few pets that you're seeing on the screen right now, Greater Elemental and Greater Fire Elemental, which is from the totems, five minute cooldown on each. They last like, I think, a minute, and they just follow you around. Um, Elemental Shaman, in my opinion, is one of my favorite casters. I enjoy it personally, and uh, this is a great example of what um, I mean by their AoE. Watch, see? it's I just killed three people at once, that make that four. Uh, I know there's a demon hunter there, but pretty much all that damage is for me. You saw the killing bow, and you can even see my face reaction from that. It's crazy. I did not expect that. I still didn't to that day. And yeah, I believe that's uh, Elemental Shaman, guys. So, um, up next, uh, what's another caster? Uh, uh, mage. Uh, they have Frost, Fire, and Arcane. If you're into a caster that is pretty much always crazy, no matter what, they're always good. No matter what, every expansion, they will never ever be bad. Mage will definitely be a t uh, top pick. They're just always good every single expansion pack. They, no matter what, Blizzard always makes one spec good. Personally, out of all of them, my favorite spec is Fire. I just like the, they're kind of like Elemental Shaman. A lot of instant casts, you very rarely have to cast. Uh, they do insane damage. Oh, uh, well, yeah, they do okay damage. They're probably not insane, but they do okay. And um, if you're into a class that wants to, like, if you want to be a tank killer, I recommend playing Fire for the Greater Power Class. You will absolutely demolish tanks. Like, it, they're, like they're nothing. If you hate tanks that much, Greater Power Blast, guys. Frost uh, has really, really insane amount of slows. So if you want to kite people, Frost is pretty good. Arcane is really good against uh, melee, in my opinion. They have the most mobility. They have like six blinks. I don't know. I, I'd, if I get it wrong, I apologize, but it feels like that. Um, they have really good slows. I think out of all three specs, Arcane has the best damage. Uh, it, their damage just is crazy if you can get it off. Like I said, they have insane mobility. You can just kite melee for days. It's absolutely hilarious. And... Um, that's it for Mage. Boomkin. This has been my main since Wrath of Lich King up until Legion. I cannot say anything bad about Boomkin. Their mobility is crazy. They have a chicken form where you can just do the... 
the little flat and uh, fly down from like lumber mill to blacksmith then who doesn't like being a boom chicken like just being a boom chicken is just absolutely amazing I make everybody fear the power of the chicken and uh, they have cyclone they have a root where a root talent where you can make melee set the roots and there's nothing they can do about it except for trinket or get dispelled they have a disarm um there's just so many good things about boomkin that i enjoy um their healers are pretty good they have they're really really insane in team fights uh single target is actually pretty good too so overall that's all i can say about boomkin it's just they're really fun to play guys i highly recommend uh playing one all right now warlock Warlock is a really interesting type of class. I'm not really sure what to think about Warlock. Because I mean, Blizzard has been doing a lot of weird things to Warlock. Like, to changing him around. My favorite spec of Warlock, personally, is Destruction. Destruction spec is basically where you send Chaos Bolts that... Pretty much after, like, two or three of them, they uh, kill somebody. The Chaos Bolt hits so hard. It hits for, like... I've seen it hit up to, like, 2 to 2.5 million before. Um, that is not in Temple. That is with Berserker, of course. It wasn't me who did it. I think it was some, somebody else, people, some other people do it. Uh, Warlock is really insane in uh, team fights. What the goal of it is to spread pressure to the team, and it adds a lot of pressure for healers to keep them up. So if you're into like spread pressure, Affliction Warlock would be for you. I don't really have much experience with Demology, but uh, basically it's another pet spec, and if you're into a pet kind of class that you want a companion to help you, then um, of course, Demonology for you. Now this one isn't really much of a caster, it's Hunter, but it's in the range department, so I'll just add it. What it is, is Beast Mastery, uh, it's another pet type of class, it was actually my first class I uh, made in Vile. And it is really, really fun to play. Unfortunately, the damage I feel like isn't as high at the moment. Because after all the nerfs, they kind of went ham on it. It's still a fun class to play. Its damage is definitely not awful. But uh, it's still pretty fun to play. So if you're into the pet kind of class, companion, BM is for you. I'm kind of a BM hunter for life for me personally. Just because I always like the pets. BM hunter, for example... You can use exotic pets like Devil Sword, T aka T Rex, or Spirit Beast to heal you, stuff like that. Marshman Hunter is one of those sniper types of classes, I guess I could best put it, and you can snipe from afar. I think Marshman has the best damage out of all the Hunter specs. That's just me personally. They do have a ton of AoE damage, and um, it's really about it, I think, for the casters. And, uh, range, guys. Okay, so I lied. I actually forgot one, and I, I'm gonna add it right now. Um, of course, it's Shadow Priest. Shadow Priest, if you're into a class that, again, has kind of a similar to a knockback, it's mind control. It's not like a knockback, but it's absolutely hilarious. For example, you can make people jump off the cliff by themselves, like at Lumber Mill, or you can actually do something stupid like I did and mind control somebody into the lava and make them kill themselves by lava and silver shard mines which is absolutely hilarious there's so many different ways you can use mind control you can use it to cc somebody and make the team get the kill uh there's master spell where you can master spell paladin bubbles that make them immune you can dispel that and help the team that way it makes paladins really angry that way you can purge uh heals from rest of droids etc uh, Shadow Priest is really, 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 really good at spread pressure, just like Affliction Warlock. They're pretty much basically similar, in my opinion. Uh, just Shadow Priest, I feel like, is a little bit more, I don't know, like, they're just basically a little bit similar. Just, uh, d really depends what more you kind of want to do. Uh, Affliction Warlock is really a little bit more self-healing, in my opinion. And, uh, Shadow Priest is a lot more, like, control, I feel like with the mind control, the stun they have, the silence, the spread pressure is really nice. They do have a Siphon that reduces healing by 50% as the honor talents. Um, it's really about it for Shadow Priest, guys, so let's go ahead and move on. Alright, guys, up next is healing. This is the final thing, final part of the video is the healing. 
And of all the healers, which is Rester Shaman, Rester Druid, uh, a Displeased, or Dispriest, a Holy Priest, Mistweaver Monk, Holy Paladin, I believe that is it. Um, Rester Druid is my favorite. And the reason why I like Rester Druid is because, again, mobility, mobility from Druid in general is just absolutely a lifesaver and crazy fun. They're healing. Rester Druid is more of like a raid type of healer. They're not really good at like solo healing, so if you're into that kind of thing, uh, Rester Druid will probably be for you. Their survivability is bear form, and they have bark skin and iron bark. Uh, they can use the world thing uh, on the ground to pull people away, which is a kind of a lifesaver. Displacer Beast is a pretty good lifesaver. They can cyclone. Uh, they have a stun. Their heals, like I said, are more for raid healing. Single target wise, they're okay, but it's not really that great. So if you're looking for a raid type of healer, Rester Druid is definitely for you. Uh, Discipline Priest. This one is kind of interesting. I'm not really sure how to play, uh, well, not how to play, but I'm not sure how to feel about Discipline Priest. I played Discipline Priest so much in Warlords. It was one of my favorites. It was like a DPS healer. It still is. But it's kind of a little bit weird in Legion. And I couldn't really get into it personally. So, But if you're into a healer that you love to DPS while also keeping your team alive, Discipline Priest will definitely be for you. You can DPS people to heal yourself and others around you. You don't even have to target them. And it'll just heal them. And uh, you can keep your team alive with Shadow Man and all the penance and pretty much all that good stuff. And then, not to mention, like I said, in the other one, uh, Shadow Priest, they have Mind Control, and they also have a knockback. Uh, Discipline Priest do have a knockback. So if you want to knockback people, Discipline Priest has a knockback. And just watch people fly, it's really hilarious. Uh, Holy Priest. This healer absolutely, absolutely makes me mad, and it also makes a lot of other people mad. So if you're into that kind of thing, Holy Priest will probably be for you. Holy Priest um, have really interesting mechanics. They have a mechanic called Greater Fade, which makes them like unhittable for about five seconds. The thing is, uh, they do interrupt you, but you have uh, another talent if you take it, where you're immune to interrupts for five seconds. So if you use combine the two, you can self heal way back up. They have a lot of instant casts, uh, so there's that. The overall, um, Holy Priest just has a lot of defense. So they have uh, Guardian Spirits, they have Greater Fade, they have um, the Immune to uh, Interrupts. They just have so many th defenses. So in my opinion, Holy Priest are actually one of the top best heals at the moment. Rest of Shaman, for this one, they have Earth Shield, which makes you take reduced damage by like 10% now because it was nerfed by 5%. Uh, they have a lot of defense as well that make them survive. They have totems that reduce the damage they take. They have Astral Shift, which takes them reduced damage take. They have uh, Ascendant, which gives them really insane healing. Uh, just overall, Rest of Shaman is actually pretty good. Um, I feel like they're both good at single target and raid healing. So there's that. And then last but not least is Holy Valley. This healer is pretty much... A solo type of healer so if you want if you want to be on a solo type of healing duty holy probably be for you they can of course always heal raid groups on obviously but um they're more of like a solo healer in my opinion and if you're wanting to do like battle rounds less rbgs and want to be on maybe flag carry duty holy probably will definitely be for you Mistweaver um, is kind of like Druid, insane mobility. They can teleport, juke people. Uh, I feel like it's hard to say what Mistweaver is. I think they're more of like a single target like Holy Valley is, just except they do have a lot more AoE healing than Holy Valley does. I feel like they're more of a mixture. So that's my opinion on healers, guys. I uh, hope this video does help you. I know it's a bit, it's a little long. I hope this does help you. I try to go as in depth as a little bit as. <laughs> possible uh let me know what you guys think see you for the next one